What is going on, folks? It is Saturday morning, 5.30 in the morning. I am headed out for a three-hour hilly ride, not on the river trail today, going on the hills, followed by a 30-minute run. And I'm actually going to the school that my daughter has a soccer game at 11 o'clock today. So goal is get there, park, ride my three hours, get back, do a run, then change, probably a little bit stinky, but change and be there for her soccer game. And then just hanging out for the day, might put these bad boys on the wall. We'll see how I feel. It is still a little dark, but I'm gonna get the bike ready, get everything ready to roll. And hopefully in about 10 minutes, it'll be light enough to uh, not get hit by somebody. Seven hours driving on the highway Far away, far away, far away Every moment I was spending on regrets Was such a waste, such a waste, such a waste Looking on the city lights Flashing bright in my eyes Three hours done on the bike, now 30 minute run AC is blasting. Uh, it is hot. I don't know how hot, but hot. I am done. Actually, an hour before the kids are going to show up for the soccer game. So I have time to find some coffee and some breakfast. But whew, it's day, one of those days. Forgot my bike computer. Tried to use my Koros as my bike computer. It recorded time, but for some reason, didn't record speed or distance. So I don't know what was going on there. So no data for the day. I'm spent, I don't know. Didn't feel 100% today. Well, that was by far our best game yet. The girls team is young and fairly new to club soccer. Most of them are all kind of first year soccer players and we have been getting schooled every game. This game, actually, we played this team just a few weeks ago in a tournament and yeah, like 7-1. But this week, 0-1. We only had one goal against us and uh, the team did Amazing. Games are so much more exciting when you're not down by six or seven. Well, I'm back home, unloaded all of this stuff. Whew, I'm pretty tired. Workout, game, now, then some lunch, but now I'm home. Sorry, way too bright, no indie filter. I'm lazy, but I saw some stuff by the front door. <sighs> yes. One package is some new hats I've designed and uh, I've been waiting to see what the design looks like. And something from Amazon because I have been working on a new project. This one, you guys know, it is the same one that I have had 
I just needed a new one because it was getting a little dirty. This is a new one. The logo in the center, I have not done the logo in the center yet. And uh, I'm uh, liking it. Uh, look at that. And this is the one that I am super excited for. I am, I've been wanting this one to come in. It's a navy blue hat, navy blue trucker with a gold Endurus logo. That looks sweet. That came out really, really good. All right, so the second package. And first, available, Endurus.com. Every purchase of Endurus.com, all of the proceeds, all of the profit goes towards charity. The charity I pick each month, which is uh, protecting and preserving the planet. That's the only charities I donate to protecting and preserving the stuff that I love, the mountains, the ocean, this beautiful planet. Now, the other package, what was in the other package? So I have been thinking for a long time about reviving the podcast. I have put out a few shows and then didn't really keep it going. I've been thinking a lot about it and I've been working on the guests, how I'm gonna record it and uh, the logo. So that's what's in the second package is all of the things I need to do in-person interviews as well as remote interviews. I actually recorded the first podcast yesterday with Katie. But you have to have the fuel to do that. Um, and we're not, we have to consume during and after, not just after. Because if we're only consuming after, we've already depleted the glycogen stores. And My nutritionist. So I can't wait till that comes out. I've got another podcast recording next Thursday and uh, some other guests that will be coming right after that. So that is the thing I have been working on that has been taking some of my time uh, while I wasn't making videos, just putting everything together, researching the software I wanted to use, the equipment I wanted to use. So I'm excited to see what's in these packages. First thing we have is the Rode NT USB mini microphone. They just came out with a software package for doing podcasting for in-person interviews. You use four microphones right now. I've got two of them. These, I can't wait to try out with their new software. So I'm really excited to share with you in the beginning some of the resources that I've been using like Katie or BJ, the coach. I haven't even asked him if he wants to be on the podcast yet. He has his own podcast. Jess, she has her own podcast. But I want to bring them on and talk specifically about the things we've been working on with myself. So here's the cover art for the podcast as it stands. All right, well, it is 3.30 and I am stinky, hot, sweaty. I'm gonna take a shower, I'm going to, maybe I'll just get in the pool, and then relax for a little while, and I think I'm gonna to attempt to work on the cabinets. Put the cabinets up. Yeah, cabinets up. going to unpackage these and see, I believe there's some screws in there that I can use to mount them, but I'm not 100% sure and the ones I have are too long. So if that's not the case, then I've got to run to Home Depot. But I have cleared out the wall where they're going to go. Have you heard about summer snow? When it falls on you, your blood runs cold. But don't you sweat your pretty skin? So one of the things I need to do is on this wall, there is an outlet right there. And uh, I need to cut out the back of the cabinet so that it can sit over top of it. So then the outlet is accessible inside the cabinet. Have her from the sky. It's 
not my cleanest work, but it'll do. So when I hung all of these cabinets, I did all of them by myself. And the way I was able to do that was using a floor jack. Take this floor jack, get the cabinet up on it, and then I can adjust the height to exactly 12 inches off the floor. Also broken bridge in the fading light. Never thought ahead of my two feet. Never had a care in the world you see. Have you heard from the sky? Well, I am done and they came out pretty good. I think uh, gonna work out just fine. Now the sun is pretty much almost down. It actually was a beautiful sunset. Unfortunately, I was in here working and not looking, but uh, look at that sky. That looks amazing. So I think that's it. And if it is, I just wanna say thank you to all of you that recently subscribed, to those of you who are giving me thumbs up, who are leaving me comments. It is so greatly appreciated. I get a ton of motivation out of it. As much as you guys say I motivate you, you guys also motivate me. So thank you so much. And thank you to all of you who have purchased Endurance products, those new hats, go check them out. But that's it, another video down more training done, one more step closer to Iron Man 70 point, bug, one more step closer to Iron Man 70.3 Arizona. I'll see you in the next one. Ah, <sighs> well, I am ready for bed. I'm actually showered this time and uh, the night is coming to an end, about to do some meditation with the girls before they go to bed, but, I just wanted to leave you with some thoughts from today. Today, I, I really felt like I hit the wall or I kind of bonked during today's workout. And it's one of those things where I thought I did everything right. I came into the ride, I pre-fueled, I fueled during the bike, I took in over 700 calories, but I got off and felt really bad. Just, that run hurt. I just felt like I, I had nothing to give. And in the past, that would really, really frustrate me and cause me to almost spiral in a thought cycle of what did I do wrong? Why am I doing this? Do I really have what it takes? I can't figure this out and just kind of get in that really negative headspace. And that's been one of the biggest benefits of being part of the Yogi Triathlete team and working with Jess and BJ in really being able to uh, be aware of where my mind is trying to go and those thoughts and being able to redirect that energy, uh, redirect my awareness and really just feel the feelings, think about it, think about hey, what could I have done different, whatever it is, and then kind of close the book, close that chapter, move forward. I'm done with it, I felt it, I let it go and it's done. I'm not gonna think about it tomorrow when I get up because I have a really hard run tomorrow and I could go to bed thinking about it and get up tomorrow and be worried that, oh man, this run is gonna suck. I didn't do well today. It's not gonna work tomorrow. I'm gonna go into it doubting. That's not the case. That has been some of the best part of the mindset training is I'm gonna just close the door on this. It's done and tomorrow morning, I'm gonna crush that run. I'm gonna hit those intervals. I'm gonna run seven to 7.15 minute mile pace for 20 minutes, for 15 minutes, for 10 minutes, a descending interval workout, and I'm gonna crush it. There's no doubt in my mind. And that is one of the biggest benefits in that mindset training and just really being aware of where your mind is trying to go and break those cycles. But that's it. But as I'm doing this, I don't know if you can hear it, my daughter is laughing and laughing and laughing. So, such joy. So I'm gonna leave you with that.
challenge us to make an edible post it note. Wait, no, 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 dude, you can't eat paper. <laughs> and you know what? I now have the power of the paper. Do so you like the these guys? Like, yeah, I want my cousins on their videos. <laughs> Your laugh is infectious. <laughs> <laughs>